Chu Bilian wanted to be the best chef in Singapore, just like her mother. I can run the kitchen. I've seen her do it before. You're not your mother. Her father Ding tried to discourage her. He knew the challenges she'll have to face would not be easy. What? But B still pressed on, hoping to recreate fried rice paradise, a dish her mother made that she had wanted to use wow. to open her own restaurant. I love it. However, her mother died before she could give B that recipe. B has been trying to recreate the dish ever since. That's a deer. Along her journey to find fried rice paradise, she fell in love with Hennessy. He is the son of Rickson, a man with big dreams. These are my plans for Rickson Hills Estate. A man who wanted to turn the quiet neighborhood of Jalan Kalamansi into an integrated entertainment hub. A man who will do anything. Get him out of my sight. To stop B from achieving her dream. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh, oh no. He found a clue that led her to suspect her neighbor, Debbie. And now, she's one step closer to finding out the truth behind her mother's death. Just turn around from what you don't want to see. Look to the ground to erase all memory. So leave them be. Be on your way now. Only see what you must see. So, you really think Auntie Debbie has something to do with your mom's death? She was there that night. Yes, but a curry stain? What are you girls talking about? Um, Auntie Debbie, I was wondering about your curry. Why is it that color? I use a secret spice. What is it? If I tell you, I'll have to kill you. <laughs> it's an old family recipe. I make it for special occasions. Here you go. Should be enough for you and your father. Thanks, Auntie Devi. I have to get ready for my students now. I'll drop off the recipe for you later. All right. See you. What's wrong? I don't get it. What am I missing? I did exactly what Ma used to do. I chopped and sliced like how she taught me. I sliced thin slices of yam so that I could add sweetness to the shallots. I pre-fried shrimp and anchovies in the oil to add a stronger aroma. I even added peppercorns to give it a bit of a kick. I added egg at just the right timing. And I made sure that the rice texture was exactly right, not too burnt. Plus, I cooked the rice with soya bean and I left it overnight. I even added half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. It's still not fried rice paradise. What am I missing? Why must everything from you sound so complicated? Just keep simple. It's only complicated to someone who only knows how to boil an egg. I don't remember your ma going through so much trouble. Oh, it's hot. 
What do you call this? Fried rice hell? Ha ha, so funny. My toes are laughing. I better get this right. If not... If not what? I don't know if we should open the restaurant. Because menu will not be complete? It won't be what Ma wanted. And why are you still sitting here? Go, 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 go! Excuse me, keep practicing that line. Hello, Davy speaking. Yes, Doctor. Are you sure? I see. I see. No, that's all right, thank you. I'll come in soon and sign the forms. Auntie Davy? Yeah, yes. Did I sing that correctly? I'm sorry. I have to continue class another day, okay? B? Auntie Devi? Here. Might as well give you my recipe before. Thanks. Before what? Nothing. If there's nothing, I'll head back. Auntie Devi, wait. There's something I need to ask you. Please don't get mad. It's about Ma's death. You're still on that? What about it? There was a stain on Ma's shirt. And it looks exactly like the stain I had from my dress, from your curry. B, that's just a coincidence. And Ma doesn't make that kind of curry. So the only person who makes that kind of curry around here is you. What really happened that night? Wailing, please, don't do it. Don't tell the principal. Tell him what? What shouldn't I tell him? That I was the one. I was the one who told the student to scratch the principal's car. It wasn't your husband. But you let him take the blame. He loved teaching as much as you. I know. When he couldn't find another teaching job, it broke him. I'm sorry. I'll do anything. Then confess the truth. But Wailing, if you expose me, I'll never teach again. This is my husband. I have to clear his name. If you don't do it, then I will. Please give me some time. How long more do you want to think about it? You should leave now. No, my leg, my leg. No, no, no. I'm so sorry. Uh, let me clean it up. Just leave. That really was the last time I saw your ma. But why did you lie before? I was ashamed. And I was afraid. You won't like this auntie anymore. Are you angry with me? Yes. You are practically family, Auntie Devi. How can you hide these things from me? I'm terribly sorry for all that I've done. I don't expect you to forgive me. But I guess I've gotten my just desserts. What is it? 
remember the vomiting episode last week? Yes. It wasn't the first time. And it wasn't stomach flu. What was it? I went to the doctor. I have cancer. Oh, God, no. No. Auntie Debbie. Are you the hook girl? Yes. We think you're very cool. Can we have your autograph? Oh, yes. <laughs> Smells good. Learned it from Chef Ting. The trick is in the walk. Who cooked this? Me? Uncle, you don't like? No. I like it. I like it so much that I want to challenge you. Me? Are you two billion? Yes, that's her. I heard you will be opening your restaurant soon. And one of your signature dishes is chili crab. How did you know about my restaurant opening? Hmm. All the master chefs must know their opponent. Well, in that case, I'm happy to know you. As a master, I shall give you home court advantage. In two weeks, I will cook here with you. And we will do a blind tasting. Let people judge. Whose crab is the best? On behalf of Jalan Kalamansi, I accept your challenge. Good. Chef Kwan. Chef B. <laughs> Why did you agree to compete with him? Ma used to tell me stories about chefs who threw down challenges like Kung Fu Masters. It's a good way to gain publicity. Hey, have a bit more faith in my chili crab Kung Fu. Hmm? Mr. Rickson. Davy. Thank you for coming. My pleasure. I would love to visit each and every one of my neighbors, if time permits. I won't waste your time. I just want to know, if I do sell my property to you, how soon can you give me the money? If you sell, I'll give you the money right away. If life was a book, you are now free to write any chapter you want. With that money, you can even write a new book. I can see why you have so few friends in Jalan Kalamansi. There are daggers in your smile. I used to be outraged by men of your character. And knowing how you've been plotting against the good people of Jalan Kalamansi, 
In fact, I should be disgusted. But now, I just feel sad for you. One day, Mr. Rickson, I hope you'll find peace. I will. Pleasure doing business with you, Davy. Goodbye, Mr. Rickson. I mean I can't sing. It's true. You can't sing. I'm so sorry, sir. I think there must be a misunderstanding. No, no, no. I'm very clear. This guy can't sing. And I'm not the only one who thinks that. All of you, what do you guys think? Yeah, he can't sing. We should get refund. Fine. Then I'm not singing. John, I beat you to sing. Joe, please sing. No, you sing. I've had it. Joe. Asha, remember you sang at my daughter's birthday, singing the same song. No, I can't. Yes, you can. I can't. Joe should be singing. I trust you. You can. Yes. No, I can't. Uh, uh, sorry, everyone. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please, I present to you Aisha. Waitress also can sing. Uh. Uh, she's our latest act. Uh, once again, uh, please welcome Aisha. It's not the reason.
Andy, I just parked here for five minutes only. Oh. Okay? Okay. I don't care if it is five seconds. You still broke the law? Hey, Auntie. Give chance, give us face, huh? Mm. Okay, I will give you face. You go and face the court. Hey. Hey, what is this, huh? Give me back to me! Hey! Stop! Hey. Stop! Hey. Stop. Hey. Stop. Hey. Stop. Hey. I'm so sorry, B. I didn't see you. It's okay. So you don't want to see doctor? There are no broken bones. And doctor will just ask me to rest. Then you have to rest your hand. It's just a bruise. It's already an event. There are reporters. This will be very good for my future restaurant. If you win, but look at your hand. You're not fit to cook. If I back out now, Chef Guang is going to spread the word and say that I'm too afraid to challenge him. Then let him. No. There's a soccer stalking me. Have you seen? No. <laughs> Hello. Chef Ting, thank you so much for coming. I called Chef Ting, asked him to help with my wok hei kung fu. But your hand? Girlie, please. She's right. It will be tough. You may even tear a muscle. Are you sure you can handle the pressure? <sighs> Chef Ting, look at me. Am I my mother's daughter? Let's begin. She's still cooking. Le Pham is injured, but she asked Chef Ting to train her. You think she stand a chance? My money is on Chef Kwang. How's my son? Mm, he's still not over her. In time, he'll come to his senses. You sold already? I had to. I needed the money. Do you get a second opinion? I know a good doctor. I've been to a few already. I've come to terms with it. I have a cousin. She was diagnosed with cancer. Doctors gave her one month. But that was five years ago. So don't lose hope. On the bright side, I'm travelling finally. Which was why I needed the money as well. TV. We sold our property too. When? A few weeks back. But why? Long story short, we sold because we wanted to protect Johan from Rickson. We must organize a farewell party for you. No need. Devi, I grew up with four brothers. I love them. 
but there's nothing like having a sister that you can share some girl talk with. This is not goodbye, sister. Again. Again. In this condition, you can't cook the crab evenly. I know. I'll take in the pain. That's not the point. Once your focus is divided, you won't be able to cook the same. What can I do? You want to cook till your hand drops off, then you'll be happy? Are you asking me to give up? If I say yes, you will say no. I might surprise you. Will you give up? No. <laughs> what are you doing here? Who let you in? Get out! I'm sorry. But your pa let me in. But I asked him to get out. He wants to work here. Free. So I thought free thing must take lah. I'll do anything. I'll sweep the floor, I'll wash the dishes, I'll clean your toilet. I thought where you come from, you pay people to clean your toilets. He wants to learn. Let him learn. Learn what, Pa? Don't believe him. Everything about him is a lie. I quit. Yes. Please quit. I left this Gorama. I quit working there. You cook, so you can judge a good egg from a bad one. I write, so I know a good person from a bad one. Trust me, it's not bad at all. You ask yourself, you know I'm not wrong. You pay copy. Okay, go. Just because my pa lets you work here, doesn't mean I'm okay with it. I used to have many things when I had money. But now that I'm broke, I have a lot of patience. I'll do whatever you say. You're saying that my restaurant is cleared? Wow, thank you so much. Yes, I'll definitely be careful about the cockroaches. Thank you. Thank you, your boyfriend and his Air Jordan shoes. How did you manage to convince the health inspector to lift the ban on my restaurant? That's where all my money went to. If there's any other way for me to say I'm sorry, I'll keep trying until you forgive me. Oi! Where's my copy? I'm not coming!
to our chili crab challenge between two outstanding chefs. And today, we will decide whose chili crab is the best and most wild. All right, first up, let's put your hands together to welcome Chef Kwong. His signature dish is Katong Chili Crab Paradise. Number one chili crab in Singapore. Woohoo! Come on! Oh, is it? Because we have a new challenger. She just turned 21 years old. And some already said that she is just as good as her late mother. Ah, come on, let's give your hands up. Come on. Let's clap and give it up to Chu Bi Lie. All right, all right, and of course we have our judges. They will decide who's the best. Chef, are you ready? Ready. Ready. Let the challenge begin. Quick frying can maintain the texture of the crab meat, but steaming the crab beforehand will make it extra tender. Oh, I didn't know that. Once you steam the crab, the meat doesn't stick to the shell. You will see. Very heavy, man. Yes, she can. Looking at the condition of your left hand. I think you'll stand a better chance if you start training your right hand now. Uh, but it's not easy. What? She can cook with both hands? We have 15 seconds left. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, time stop! Let's give that round of applause, come on! Good job. All right, so now the judges, will taste each dish. Thank you. Thank you. So now, for the second dish. Just 
one. Five. Just two. Five. Just three. Five. All right, there you go. The judges have spoken. Now the best chili crab goes to Chef Chubile. Keep following me. I'm a talent agent. Here. My client loved your hook commercial. Thought that you have a certain X factor. He would like to audition you for a role in an upcoming musical. I have an X factor. Really? Ah! You claim to cook the best chili crab in Singapore. Yet, you lost it to a girl? who just turned 21. Thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. I've been working on a little something to show my appreciation to all of you. writing soon. Yes, you will. It's never too late to chase your dream. So, what are you going to do now? I'll go on a holiday, maybe on a cruise ship. After that, who knows? I decided to put your curry dish on my menu. Everyone will remember Auntie Debbie's curry. said that cooking is like writing a song. There are only so many notes, just as there are only so many flavors. Some are spicy, 
while some are bitter. How a chef combines the flavors is how she turns an ordinary dish into something of a revelation. Hi, B. Hi, Auntie Annie. How's your hand? Ah? Can cook with both hands? Ah? Superwoman? Ah? <laughs> no, lah. My mother made this chicken chinsen soup. Supposed to be good for your chi. Thank you. Thank you for saving me that day. It's OK. <sighs> Those rich people ah, are really too much. They think they can park anywhere they like. Huh? They don't own Jalan Kalamansi, you know. Wait. What did you just say? I said these rich people think they can park anywhere they like. One year ago, I met you outside on the street and there was a blackout. You said something about rich people parking anywhere. Auntie Annie, blackout huh? already still so hardworking. <laughs> these rich people ah, think they can park anywhere they like. I tell you, ah, even if there is blackout, I will have my torchlight to catch them. Yes, I remember. I just gave that uh, uh, Mr. Rickson a ticket. Mr. Rickson? A parking ticket? Hmm? He was here on Jalan Kalamansi. Yes, one year ago, during the black car. Where did he park? Near your house? The night your mother died. Just turn around from what you don't want to see. Look to the ground to erase all memories. Don't be afraid of what comes back in your dreams Cause dreams will fade if they're only dreams So leave them be And so